ride in a one horse open sleigh. So uh, my name is Chrissy Andrew, and this is Tom Andrew, my husband. And we have two little girls, um, Tenley, who is three, and Emerson, who will be two in February. And um, we are the, the family that lost our home to the in business to the fire um, on November 11. Yep. I was sleeping, and Chrissy was as well. Um, the girls. The girls were sleeping as well. Yeah, I was had fallen asleep on the couch that night, and I was laying there sleeping and started hearing some awful noises, which I thought was probably somebody broke into our our business. And so I went and woke my husband up, and um, he did not believe me at first. He's like, "No way, no." And I'm like, "No, really, you you would need to get up because there's something going on out there." And that's when he woke up and started hearing everything so mm -hmm. and yeah. then, yeah, and then you, I will yeah and then she, I woke up too. Yeah. Yeah. she you she woke me up and then um, I went into the living room and and it sounded like somebody knocked a bunch of boards off uh, onto the onto the floor and and then uh, I got I got pretty scared and I told Chrissy to get the kids in the truck just in case somebody was, was out there with a gun or a knife or, or something um, so she did that and um, as soon as I opened the back door to go into the shop um, I just saw the smoke come out the out the back corner and and I shut the door and, and we left and we called 911 after that. You guys were able to get some of your belongings out? Um, we didn't take any out. The firefighters, once they determined our house couldn't be saved, then they started pulling things out. Um, they cut a hole in our bedroom wall and they got our like our bedroom, a lot of the stuff out of our bedroom out. I mean, they did attempt to get things out. So. Yeah, they got a lot of the pictures. And yeah, they took all our pictures yeah. off from our walls. Yeah. So that was that really, was nice. really More the, awesome. Yeah, I think the stuff things you can't replace. That was yeah. important, you know. Were you scared when this all happened? Were you scared? Were you scared? Yeah. She's gotten better, or she hasn't talked about it quite as much, but in the mm -hmm. beginning there, it was every day, all day long, so. Okay. Yeah. Can you talk about, talk about the projects again? I know you were earlier telling me about... Yeah, yeah. we had a couple kitchens. We had three kitchens. I mean, one was in the trailer that you know, was burned up, and then the one big one that was in the shop, and then a brand new one we, we'd start cutting out. So those those are completely gone. And you said that you were starting to rebuild them in your dad's garage. Yeah. And yeah. So I suppose that's a lot harder, because I suppose all your tools were in there. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, everything was gone. Everything in the main part of the shop... Um, was, was completely a total loss and virtually everything everything in our house was completely gone as well um, but yes it, it is a it's a major setback from you go from what you first started out of and then to build something like we had and, and then you, you lose it in about an hour and 20 minutes yeah. is that what it was yeah, yeah it was 10.05 and, and they, they, they really kind of got it contained at the end um, it was about, a, yeah, about an hour and, hour and 20 minutes before they finally did get it contained. And okay. Yeah, um, when you think about it, we're just, I mean, we really are lucky to be alive. Because I don't know what it, at what point would our fire alarms went off inside, if it would have been when the fire finally reached the house. Um, so we're really fortunate for that. Talk about rebuilding. Yep, um, we were in the process of building a house, so we're very fortunate for um, that. Yeah, so the roof has been put on, and we're just yep. waiting to have the windows put in. Um, as far as the shop, though, we'll um, wait till spring to rebuild that, and we do plan on rebuilding that. Yep. So we just won't have the living quarters attached. Yeah, it's, it's the, the business tools, really. I mean, that doesn't really bother. It doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. You know, any you know really business related, it, it's that stuff can be replaced. But it's all of our personal things that 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 we've acquired since we moved together, got married. Mm -hmm. One last question okay. is: So, how are you guys going to be spending the holidays? Well, we're, uh, we're gonna we're gonna spend it with my parents and Chris's parents because they're both from here. So. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh! Yay!